Daniel here, here with you. Uh, it is currently Saturday night, and the Rangers have just announced a trade of Jose Trevino to the Yankees for Albert Abreu and uh, left-handed pitcher Robert Alstrom. Uh, let's start, I guess, with the return. Uh, Abreu is out of options, so if the Rangers traded for him, that likely means he's going to be on the opening day roster. Uh, will he be here for long? I guess that depends on his performance. He's a guy who's had you know, some major league experience uh, with the Yankees over the last couple of seasons. He's a right-handed thrower, uh, 26 years old, but just hasn't quite clicked yet. Uh, he had a couple appearances two years ago, made 28 appearances last year to the tune of a 5.15 ERA. He is more or less a strikeout printing guy, uh, but he's also had some walk issues even though he allows less than a hit per inning. So the walks seem to be a, a problem, more than four and a half walks per nine. Uh, but he is a guy who's capable of going multiple innings. So last year, 28 games, 36 and two-thirds innings. He is not a one-inning-only guy, and especially early in the season, that does seem to be of value. Uh, the guy the Rangers uh, maybe are more interested in is, is Robert Allstrom. He's a, a lefty out of Oregon, the seventh-round pick of the Yankees last year. Uh, a really good athlete. Uh, he was an outfielder and a, a pitcher in college. He has some pretty nice facial hair. Don't know if he still has it, uh, but uh, a decorated Pac-12 performer. He was a first team all Pac-12 pitcher. Uh, again, selected 213th overall last year. Uh, I, I don't believe played in the minors last season. Uh, so his, uh, his first professional pitch this year will be his first professional pitch in his career. Uh, but I imagine that's maybe the get, you know, it, it's worth noting. I, I wouldn't expect a huge haul here because at the end of the day, Jose Trevino is kind of from a value standpoint, a backup catcher uh, who offensively just hasn't quite gotten things to click. Uh, why did the Rangers trade Jose? Well, you know, it was Jose or Jonah Heim. Uh, Jose did have an option, but my guess is the Rangers felt like it probably made more sense to try and get something for Jose than send him to the minors where they already have, you know, a, a bevy of catchers, especially at AAA with uh, Mabry's Valoria uh, as kind of your veteran uh, depth option. Sam Huff is the young up and coming prospect. And then a guy like Matt Watley and, and Yoel Pozo, who could also represent some depth. So it's not like the Rangers were lacking in catching depth. If they were totally skinny on that front, I'm sure they'd say, hey, Jose, unfortunately, you're more valuable to us uh, in AAA than in a trade. But uh, I also think that Jose probably didn't want to go down to AAA in, in you know, this circumstance. And uh, the Rangers were willing to accommodate Jose, who's been a great uh, citizen for the Rangers, so to speak, since the Rangers drafted him out of Oral Roberts back in 2014. Jonah Heim versus Jose Trevino. Well, I think one area in which Jose had the advantage is his pitch framing. But unfortunately, with the, the possibility of an automatic strike zone, which a lot of people believe to be a matter of if or when, not if, uh, framing becomes less of a, a necessary skill because you're not going to be able to frame your way into strikes if there is an automatic strike zone or a technology-based strike zone. Jose is also tremendous working with the pitchers and a great game caller probably has the advantages there, but it's not that Jonah is lacking in those areas. You know, he uh, apparently does a really good job from a game calling standpoint as well, learning and, and growing. But I think with Jonah, the Rangers feel like there's more offensive ceiling. He is a switch hitter, which gives them some flexibility there. And Jonah also has a very good arm. Uh, the running game or the ability to control the running game hasn't really been a great strength of Jose's. It is something Jonah is capable of doing. Uh, so the Rangers ultimately are going with Jonah Heim as their backup catcher. Mitch Garver is their primary catcher with plenty of depth options in the minor leagues. I, I am getting a little bit of a word on uh, Robert Allstrom. He is a strike thrower. Uh, he pitched in a lot of big games at Oregon, big moments intended to thrive in that sort of a setting. Uh, he, you know, I mentioned skinny lefty, but he has worked on his body and he is throwing harder because of it. Uh, the Rangers view him as a starter long-term, uh, and the hope is that he's going to continue to improve. We'll begin in down east. So that's a little bit on the trade. Uh, we'll talk to you more. Excited for Rangers baseball as we creep towards opening day.